up next is one of my, another one of my favorite people, um, Sue Burkett. We first met when she was principal at Bloomingdale, um, and she is now chief of schools for the Hillsborough County School District. Um, I want y'all to quiz her when she gets up, up here. Ask her how many, how many schools is that? Because there's, you think about 32 high school, career, and exceptional centers. I, I, I want y'all to ask her when she gets up here. Come on up here, Sue. Good morning. Um, what an honor to be here. I'm used to talking to kids who are on the cell phones, so you all paying attention to me is a little overwhelming. Um, but I appreciate being here on behalf of Superintendent Ayers. We are thrilled to be partners hand in hand with Yvonne and workforce development and what we do for kids. I've been in education my, my, whole, my whole life, right? Uh, I never left. I went straight from kindergarten to college to teaching. Um, things look different now than they looked five years ago. And the world changed in a minute. And it changed for us in education. It changed for our communities. It changed for our families. And it changed mostly for our students. And so the pendulum swings often in education, right? We, phonics was important when we were all in school and then we went to new wave common core things that math didn't make sense to any of us. And, and now we're back to phonics is important. But what has changed that I'm not sure will swing back, um, definitely not in my career, is the difference in what schooling looks like for kids. We always tell our principals, I said it as a principal, our job is to get students ready for college. It's a family's decision whether or not college is what's right for them. After the pandemic, college is not an option for a lot of kids. In fact, keeping them in traditional school to get their diploma is not an option because a lot of kids, when the pandemic hit, had to go into the workforce. They had to help their families. They had to pay bills. They had to put bread on the table, and so it looked totally different. And so when Yvonne came in, because I met her just pre-pandemic, um, we realized how important it was now more than ever to make sure that we got kids' exposure to job readiness, to careers, not just hourly wages, which is what they only know, right? If you ask most teenagers, what do you want to do? They either want to be doctors or professional football players, or they know about Target and McDonald's. That in-between stage is where we were missing a ball. So what we're able to do now by exposing students to actual careers that will, for many of our students, break the cycle of poverty. Um, I grew up in the projects of the Bronx. My dad had an eighth grade education. Where's my Bronx people? Woo! Uh, my dad had an eighth grade education. My mom barely finished high school. But for her and him, college was our way out of poverty. College is so expensive now, that's not an option for so many families. So now their option out of poverty to break that cycle for a family for a generation is to give them a career and give them that exposure. And what Yvonne does with our future career academies is gives exposure to students. Again, in the end, a family has to make a decision on what's right for their child. A child has to make a decision that's right for them when they graduate. But this gives us exposure that we have never offered to students. And it will change the trajectory of so many of our kids' lives. And we couldn't be more thankful for this partnership what you do as businesses, your ability to talk to kids, to encourage kids, like Commissioner Meyer said, to give them a chance to change where they are is, is what all of us in education are about and I hope all of us in a community are about because if you've ever heard me speak, you hear me say this all the time, the stronger a school, the stronger a community, the stronger our business is. That triangulation goes each way. So for us to partner with communities and businesses is what will make our kids successful and give them a chance in life that we may not have given them in the traditional way of education. So thank you all for being here. Thank you for your partnership. And thank you to Workforce Development.